Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Point by Kathleen Miller. I've had a couple of subscribers ask me to do a resin coating, so that's what I'm doing today. And the products I'm using are, it's KS Resin. I love KS Resin, it's like a glass finish. You get the resin and you get the hardener. And what I do is, I get my see-through cups like this and I fill it up to the top line. That's what I do. You can fill it up to any line that you want and you have to have equal amounts of each one. So if you fill it there, you fill it there. <clears throat> the hardest part is stirring it for like four minutes and your hand gets really, really tired from stirring. And it's gonna be cloudy at first when you stir it. It'll get very cloudy, then it'll get clear. And you can see, but there's gonna be a lot of bubbles in it, which it doesn't matter because all resin has bubbles. And what you do is you torch out your bubbles. But I'll show you how I, I do my resiny. So I'm gonna do it on a coaster and show you first. What I do is... Now you have the coaster sitting on a cup, so it's off the Right. You always table. want to have it up off the table. Okay. Um, I pour a little bit on here. Okay. I'll show you. I'll bring it over. I always pour just a little bit on my coaster. I spread it out from the middle to the sides. And you can already see how the colors are changing. Then what I do is I go along the sides of my coaster. So now, I have all of them covered, all the sides. Now those coasters uh, have been drying for like at least three days, right? Oh, they, these have been drying longer than that. But yeah, you got to give them at least three, four, five days to dry. Before you... Before you resin. Them. Okay. And what I do is I keep going around and around and around. Then I hold it up to the light to make sure that I have all the sides done. That's it for my coaster. So, what I do then is, I usually do probably, um, I'll show you over here, I usually do like That's two rows of them, like this row and this row. Then, I lean down like this, and you can see your bubbles. I take my torch, take your glove off because your torch is going to be all full <laughs> of resin and you don't want to get that on your hand because if you do, you have to take fingernail polish remover and get it off. You always want to wear gloves. Ugh. So. You didn't take your glove off. First. I know. You always <laughs> torch your bubbles out. And it's going to have more bubbles after that. So you'll probably want to come back 10 minutes later, lean down, look to see if you have bubbles. If you have bubbles, torch it again. You got to keep torching until they're done. You don't want to torch after there are no bubbles because it is already hardening and you will ruin your resin. So, and you always want to have these gloves on because they're really a bad resin. is so sticky. It's like, ugh, it's not good. If I could get my glove back on. Okay. So now we're going to do a painting. You do the painting exactly the same way as your coaster. I pick it up. Pour some on. Spread it out from the middle to your sides. Always from your middle. You want to make sure that your paintings that you're doing are not sagging in the middle because your resin will go and congregate into the middle and it will pull away from your sides. You want to make sure that you have a tight canvas. So I've had that happen where my canvas wasn't tight 
and I had to do it over. And if you do use silicone, make sure you wash your canvas well, because if you don't, your resin is going to make depples and it will not stay on the silicone. So you need to really wash your canvas. Please wash your canvas. And the most important thing is, like I said, you need to have your canvas really stretched tight so that it doesn't pull away from the sides. Because it will pull away from the sides if, if it sinks back into the middle. Yeah, that's a bigger, bigger problem on, those, on the larger canvases. It so. is. Okay, so we have the canvas done. Okay. Now, uh, do you go back in a little bit and sometimes you get little um, drips on the bottom edge? Right. Do you ever go back and like wipe them a little you bit? You can. Okay. Like this. Okay. Just and go it, around the bottom. And I'll, I'll tell you the reason why. If you, if you have a lot of drips and they dry, uh, there, I don't know if you can see this, but there are, you, you get these little nubs. Uh, on the edge. Oh, there we go. Uh, get those little nubs. Now, it's, it's not a huge problem because if you have those or a few of them, what I do is I take this Dremel tool. And it basically, um, as you can see, there's a grinder on the tip and you can just grind those little nubs down. It works like yeah. a charm. Um, so this is the Dremel 3000. It's um, it's a plug-in. I had a handheld which was battery operated, but the battery kept going dead too soon on me. So I uh, I got this Tremel 3000, and I'll have a purchase link uh, in the video uh, for this if you're interested. So once I have those those little nubs off, we have these four by four inch uh, cork backings, and they already have. Um, they already have the glue on the back, so you just take this, uh, the white part off, and it fits perfectly on the back of a coaster. So it's very simple. It glues right on automatically. Press it down real good, and your 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 coaster is finished. Then we take the finished coasters, and we have these nice little protective bubble bags, and two of them, a back to back, so they don't scratch each other. We put them back to back into the bags for transport and taking them to the shows. And, and when um, uh, somebody purchases them, we put them back into the bags um, and they're, they're safe until they get home. Yeah, they so, fit perfect. Yeah, it works like a charm. Real, real nice. So that's kind of what we do after uh, we have the resin finished. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to my work table because I've got a lot of resining to do. Um, and if you have any comments, any questions that you want to know and ask me about this, feel free to ask me. And um, another thing, um, put in a comment what you would like to see me create. I'll let you be the one to tell me what you would like to see me create. But um, if you would like to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, you'll get notified every single time we do a video. And um, please share it, give me a likes up. And like I said, tell me what you wanna see. I'm always here. So until the next time, I hope you learned something from my video. And if you want more you know, um, explanation, just leave me a comment. Okay, I hope everybody has a great day because I'm going to be resining. Bye!